It's time for nature studies. It's time for nature studies. Birds and bees and plants and trees. It's time for nature studies. Welcome everyone. Let's have some fun. Good afternoon and welcome. Today we're going to make your very own tic-tac-toe board using items from nature. And you can see I've started with two sticks that I've tied together with a pipe cleaner. I'm ready to add another stick over here. So I've got my stick ready. I'm gonna put it where the tops are just about the same place and hold it. And here comes the tricky part, getting it started. But I have another pipe cleaner. I'm going to twist it around. Doesn't matter if your sticks move, they'll get tighter as you wrap the pipe cleaner around. Okay, so I've got the pipe cleaner just twisted around one time. Now I'm going to go over each stick, over this stick. over the stick in front of me, over this stick, and over this stick. So I went one time around each stick, and I'm back where I started. I've got that little tab right there. I'm gonna twist my end and that little tab together to tie it off and we'll have another stick added. There we go, twist it, twist it. There's really no perfect way to do it, just whatever works for you. So now I've got one cross stick and two up and down sticks, or vertical. Something goes up and down, they're vertical. When something goes across, it is horizontal. So right now I have two vertical sticks and one horizontal stick. I'm going to move down and put another horizontal stick down here. To do that, I'm gonna turn the whole thing upside down for a moment. There we go. And I'll get another stick. When I was hunting for the sticks, I tried to get two sticks that were about the same size for the up and down or the vertical sticks and two sticks that were about the same size for the horizontal sticks. It's not super important, but it just makes your board look a little bit better. So here's my other cross piece. Now I'm going to have to tie it in two places, here and over here. All right, I'm gonna start here. Again, doesn't matter if the sticks fall it gets better as you tie them together there. remember once you get it twisted then you go around each stick with the long piece I'll go around this top one stick, around the side, around the bottom, the other side, and back where I started to twist the ends together. So they're a little short, but I think I can get it good enough. Okay, now bring up my other stick that fell. There we go. And that will be our last place to tie, right there. All right, tip this a little bit so maybe you can see it better. Okay, so let's tie right here and finish up our tic-tac-toe board. 
I made mine kind of large. You could use certainly use smaller sticks if you wanted. Again, if you find the pipe cleaners are too difficult, you can use rubber bands, you can use string like this, you could use yarn, whatever you like. Now, it does move, that's okay. It's still, all four pieces are held together and we have our tic-tac-toe board. Now, let's talk about what we can use for our markers or our game pieces. I've got several choices. I'm going to put, hello, I'm going to put the tic-tac-toe board down and then show you the different items I have to use for the X's and O's. I made one X with sticks on a piece of cardboard. You could cut up an old a cereal box or if you've gotten some packages from Amazon cut a piece of cardboard out from Amazon and I just used hot glue and made an X out of sticks so it would be flat this stick went on first and then this stick and this one up here are two separate sticks it's not one long one that way the X is flat all right, that's one X. I made an, another X using hot glue and little tiny pebbles or stones. So there's another sample you can do. Here is one of the O's that I made with glue and leaves. And here is another O I made using the cardboard. And that is simply glue that I sprinkled some dirt on. I just used regular school Elmer's glue for this one. I didn't use hot glue. And I sprinkled on the dirt and let it dry. So there's another example of one of the O's. Now, if you don't want to use the cardboard, this one, I made the X by wrapping a rubber band around. This is exactly the same you could do for your tic-tac-toe board if you don't use the pipe cleaners. You can use a rubber band. Just wrap it around until it's tight, and then you've got your X. And one last choice. I got a green vine off of a bush, and I formed it into a circle and tied it so that it stayed in a circle. And I could use this for one of my O's. Okay? Now, if you want to be a little more traditional for your X's and O's, you can use rocks. Now, I used a Sharpie to write the X and the O on my rocks. If you don't want to bother, you can just say one person has brown rocks and one person has white rocks. And you can go that way. But to keep the game more traditional, tic-tac-toe, you usually have X's and O's. So I made three X's on rocks and three O's. Here's the other X's. And here's the other O's. All right. I'm ready to play. Okay. 
I'll go first. I'm going to go for the center using my X. Okay, and I'll put an O right there. Tic-tac-toe. Hope you have fun.